Hello and welcome back. This is the second video of the SCCM 2012, uh, 2012 beta 2. As we are almost at the end of the installation, um, only prerequisites left is actually to install um, SQL Server 2008 cumulative update 10. <coughs> so let's go ahead with the installation. I have downloaded all the updates, uh, the CU updates. So one by one, we're going to install all the updates. And it's going to take some time. And as you can see, the installation started. Click Next, select all. Um, it's already selected. Click Next. As you can see, it's saying if the host is not, it's running. Let's click on end process and click next update. I'm going to pause the video and come back as soon as the installation finishes. As you can see, the first installation succeeded. Uh, click Next and Close. Summary is actually over there. So let's go back to the next one. Three six.
this is the SAP connector for BI. If you don't need it, you don't have to install it. But anyway, I'm going to install it. Click on finish. Let's go back to the next one. 339. And that's the native client. It's already installed. Three, four, three. It's not, so it's actually saying that add in for SharePoint uh, is not installed, must be installed before you can install the report builder for SharePoint. So we're still not going to need it. And the uh, hotfix. It still is the reporting service adding for SharePoint. <clears throat> Click install. So it's actually not, we're not going to need it anyways. So let's see if the Prerequisite check works. One other thing is to get the latest configuration manager updates because it actually uh, requests you to download all the latest updates. What I have done is let me show you. Uh, when the manifest cab was downloaded, I downloaded uh, all the files listed in the XML file in the manifest cab. As you can see, that's all the names have been given. So you can download it manually or you can download, uh, download it using the tools available. This one. This is actually uh, telling you to browse the browse for a folder where it can download the latest updates. So I'm not going to need it because I've already downloaded it manually. So let's see if we can pass the installation. It's going to be a single server installation. Uh, there's the CD key. And that's the trial key. And here's the path for the latest updates. It will verify all the updates. There's the site code. I'm going to put in mob site name would be mobs dispenser. And so the admin. <coughs> admin console and click next uh, yep it's actually not giving us much to work with you have to agree to it click next it's checking so far didn't actually generate any errors. Uh, 
it went back down. And finally, the prerequisite checking has been completed. Now you can go uh, click on the next button. So, starting the installation, let's begin. As you can see, there are some WMI and file and print share enable services you need to check these things in if you are if you are installing these things um, <coughs> in the Windows Server 2008.2 and also in the firewall As you can see, we have already created these two, these two. So it's already, and file and printer sharing is already enabled and allowed in this, uh, in the firewall section. And also you have to check those things for the outbound rules also. File printer sharing and WMI. So file printer sharing is here. And Windows management instruction instruments WMI is also enabled and allowed as for over here also enabled and allowed and the WMI instrumentation is grayed out. So, okay, sorry, uh, you don't need an outbound instrumentation also, but here it's already allowed. So that's about it. Let's go back to the installation. So three of the setup is done. It's real installation and setting up, it's actually set, setting up the SQL database. And if you want, you can also scroll back down to go and scrutinize if anything you, if anything interests you. I'm going to pause the video and come back as soon as it finishes. And the installation has been completed, as you can see. Almost all the, yes, I'm saying almost as because the whole installation and the management point would be configurable in, from within inside the SCM 2012 beta 2. So as you can see, uh, there were some things we need to go for, for because replication and the component configuration sh should be in tick mark. So, start the system configuration manager and click close. Finally, the installation has been done and the software is up and running. As you can see, the interface has been changed. Uh, so all of the um, GUI is actually changed to more like similar to Microsoft Outlook. So this is where we're going to make changes to our system, to the SSCM and there, there are loads of things that can be done. Primarily, we will, we will be starting with creating 
distribution point before before that we're going to need a boundary uh, where you can actually say uh, where you can set the whole boundary of your network you can you can assign different boundaries different uh, different networks here's the software library so application management software updates as operating systems so way to manage task sequence and drivers you can install those things from over here and this is the monitoring part system status deployments database replications and this is where you can go for uh, compliance management mainly compliance management so this is it for today and on the next videos we will be seeing things that we didn't actually see over here and after the installation we will go for the configuration of system center configuration manager and before closing that I have um, this is this is where you actually download the beta 2 beta 2 version as you can see it, the system requirements it's saying that Windows Server 2008 it doesn't actually support Windows Server 2008 R2 and for SQL it also supports 2008 not R2 SP1, CLU10, sorry, SQ, uh, cumulative update 10, 64 bit, and reporting services only for reporting solution. So basically, these are the requirements, and it doesn't say where to download everything. So this is where you get the, this is the do, uh, documentation library. This is where you get to know how to install these things and what are the prerequisites for installing all your uh, <coughs> system requirements and then system requirements sorry and the system center configuration manager beta version the 2012 there are some how to videos in the technet so please go for it because deployment types there are loads of things that's actually uh, um, showing how to do these things and you can find the, find these things very useful for your training so hope this videos actually makes your lives easier bye